This is me, playing the scariest VR horror game I could find, in one of the most haunted houses in America. Why would someone do this? Well, recently my friend Tyler invited me to a normal house and told me it was haunted. I freaked out. Oh my God! Not only that, he posted it to hundreds of thousands of people. I was embarrassed. I was humiliated. So, I mean, I kind of have to clear my name. I have to prove that I'm not this sissy scared guy. And so I rented the most haunted house I could find and I'm going to be putting myself in the most scary situation. And huge thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for making this possible. So we then went inside where we met with the owner of the house. It gets pretty sick in here at night sometimes, you know, you can feel them come out and play. There's known to be like a man in there, you know, um, sitting and watching. Oh, things, yeah, I've seen them out of the corner of my eye. All right, I'm just going to, I'm going to put Bob right here. He can, he can keep a good look for us, good watch out. I trust this man with my life. The first step to playing this game was to make sure this place was actually haunted, so I could truly know that I'm putting myself in the scariest situation possible. These are literally normal twist off and on lights, like look. My eyes! Yeah, apparently they ghosts can turn these on and off. This is a, a motion detector, it's a music box. Every time you wave your hand in front of it, uh, it will make a sound. So see, it literally only goes when my hand's in front of it. If there's any kind of spirit here, could you please step in front of the music box? I'll be straight up, nothing was really working for the first hour. But then when we went upstairs to test the flashlights... Bro, this might just be the scariest staircase I've ever seen! That's what I'm saying. I'm already tripping balls! Let's all be over here, I'm gonna place flashlights at the end, turn off the lights. If there is anyone present with us, could you just please make it known? Um, do you wanna play a game up here? I'd be down to go on a little race. Yeah, that's all man. Would you, would you race? Oh, no, way. Oh. no way. Is that okay if we move closer to you? Yeah. Okay. Right. Is that okay that we're staying here? Sure. I'm assuming that's a yes. No. After seeing some creepy stuff with the lights, we went to test the music box again when it actually started working. If there's a ghost here, we come in peace. Could you please just ring it once? Okay. <laughs> Dude, that, that fucking freaked the- And the worst part about this was the two friends I brought to comfort me were freaking me out even more. This is mind blowing, bro. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> we just discovered a ghost. And the later it got, the scarier it got. Fudge, bro. I hate this, dude. This isn't supposed to be scary yet, bro. I have to play a horror game in here, man. I literally, like, I'm questioning how I'm gonna be able to do this. Should've got a scary game editor or something. Like, I'm about to play the scariest game ever, thanks to Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe it. They actually did sponsor this video. Yes, the absolutely free-to-play mobile amazing PvP game. While my friend Cal is talking to ghosts and making me terrified, I can ignore that and play with my favorite champions. I personally think some of the attack champions in this game are amazing. I really wish I could have them to protect me from these ghosts. Like some of my favorite ones. Longbeard, Assassin, Berserker. I mean, just look at these guys. Who wouldn't want to attack with them? Do you, do you like me? Or, okay, how about... <laughs> and the deal just gets even better for you guys. Raid is doing a dragon egg hunt where you guys can find hidden eggs with prizes ranging from a legendary raid champion to Amazon gift cards totaling up to $20,000. So my mom just texted me and said, get the heck out of the house. Can you turn the flashlight on so she knows I'm safe? To join in the egg hunt, just download raid with the link below, copy your user ID, and head over to the egg hunt link. Existing raid players can join in too on this website where you'll get a promo code to earn an in-game gift. And if you guys download raid with this QR code, you'll get a full starter pack no matter what. Thank you, Raid. After realizing the house was 100% haunted, it was time to play the game. But just before that, I got a call from the man himself. Well, like, run me through this. So what's, the, what's the deal right now? You went to the rack and first? You, you were terrified at a place that <laughs> had no history of being haunted, and now you are in one of the most haunted houses in America. Have you gone, have you gone down to the cellar yet? No. Uh, okay, take me to the cellar. All right. Wait, you have to, you're, okay, take a left and walk outside. Oh, oh what? Man. Oh, my God. Oh, Alright, so we're gonna test this. We're gonna see if 
if this place is, like Tyler said, like more haunted, I guess. And then Tommy and Cal are gonna leave me here alone and put on my VR and start the game. If this stuff doesn't go off, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm way more relaxed. If this stuff goes off like crazy, I literally don't know how I'm gonna do this. You wanna test the, uh... Oh yeah. Okay, it's literally, like, look at this. Red light, if Gavin's gonna be safe once we leave. Blue light, if Gavin's not gonna be safe once we leave. So red is safe, blue is not safe. Yeah. That's not okay. That's not okay. I'm having a tough time speaking. The blue one has not gone off all day. That is insane. What do you think about that, bro? Now that we were 1000% positive that this house was haunted and I was already terrified, it was on to the worst part, which was beating the horror game. So I'm gonna get them to leave me in the cellar. All right, see you guys. All right, guys, I am, oh man, I'm actually properly terrified now. Warning, this experience is intense and uses jump scares, loud noises, and flashing images. So like I said, guys, I, I looked for basically the scariest game I could find, and most realistic is a good thing. You know, I could have made so many different videos. My in-game flashlight is not working. Bro, it looks like the house I'm actually in, but like, more abandoned. Woo! Holy! <laughs> I wasn't even scared. That jump scare scare didn't really get me. Oh, dude, the creaks are getting me, bro. I don't know if it's them upstairs. I don't know if it's something behind me. I don't know if it's the game. Bro, if I hear the music box go off behind me, that will probably be the scariest thing of my life for the rest of my existence. All right, Bob, you, you got me right. As Bob kept me safe, I went through this game with goosebumps, not knowing if there was a ghost behind me. I, I this is this is the scariest experience though. I'm in a room where we literally tested for ghosts. They basically were like, "Yep, they're they're here." Oh shoot, guys! I'm oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Oh my gosh! BR has like the surround sound in my eardrums. And it's whispering, it's like AM ASMR, but in my ears. This is terrible, bro. This is truly the worst thing I've done in my entire life. I bro, not the baby crying. Shut that boy up. <laughs> That's actually probably the most real scream I've had in my life. The goal of this video was to make me look like a man and clear my wuss name. And I'm, I'm probably gonna look like more of a wuss after this. I had been playing this game for about 30 minutes now. I kept getting further, and the game legitimately kept getting scarier. And just as I was forgetting about reality, that I was actually in a haunted house, I would be reminded by a weird creak or just a terrible feeling in my entire body. Right there. She's gonna grab me. Oh! Bro, she's whispering, and it literally sounds like she's behind me. Oh my gosh, bro, why me? I, I'm like actually genuinely questioning why I went to film this video. I honestly hated myself for doing this so much, but I had to remember why I was doing this. You you heard what Tyler said. If I beat this game in the basement here, I have redeemed myself. That's all that matters. When I take off this VR, it's, it's scarier. <laughs> I'm done. I am, I'm walking as fast. I'm not looking at anything. F the jump scares, F everything. I'm, a, I'm becoming not a boy. I'm becoming a giga chad today. Bro, if I hear that music box go off, I'm trying to speed run this so I don't hear that go off. Turn on the light switch, turn on the light. Oh no, oh no. This is the end. All the build up, oh no. Okay, we're, no way, no way. Well, I can easily say that these past hours have been the most scared that I've ever been in my entire life. I've never been able to finish a horror game and now I somehow did it in an extremely haunted house. And I guess all that really matters is that I redeem myself. And help me pass Tyler and subscribers.